first we take a look at the changing face of marriage and boy has it changed maybe more than you even think call it marriage 101 it's presented by the woman who wrote the book on it literally <laughs> stephanie kuntz is the author of marriage a history and she gives us a complete history of marriage abridged For most of history, the most preferred marriage form was not one man, one woman, but one man, many women. That was throughout the majority of cultures in the world, and it's the one most referred to in the first five books of the Bible. And in fact, through thousands of years of history, the theme song for most weddings could have been, What's Love Got to Do With It? Marriage was something you did in order to make alliances, to expand your family labor force. It was the main way they signed peace treaties. Through the ages, the story of Anthony and Cleopatra has come down to us as one of the great love stories of the world. So not a love story. Anthony and Cleopatra belonged to the two most powerful nations in the world. So the idea was, how do you get this alliance? As societies became more complex and marriage was such an important political and economic institution, there were these huge battles between church and state over who could validate or invalidate a marriage. The Catholic Church was kind of unprecedented by saying, first of all, that you have to have monogamy, and second, you can't have divorce. And it took nine centuries for the Catholic Church to win and establish monogamy. The love match began to emerge in the late 18th century and began to be accepted. So the first draft of the love match, so to speak, involved redefining women and men as total opposites. Women became redefined as virtuous and moral and asexual. Men were expected not to cry, not to take care of emotional things and to become the strong male economic providers. So a woman was supposed to now fall in love before she married, but she had to marry somebody who could support her. So even after men and women were supposed to marry for love, for the next 150 years, it was very hard because marriage was still about the dominance of men over women. In the 1950s, the advice to a woman was, pretend you're interested in your husband's work. Don't tell him about your day at home. He won't be interested in that. So it's only recently that we have tried not only to build marriages that are based on love, which was itself a radical recent invention, but to build marriages based on equality, which we've only been trying to do for the last 40 years. We're doing it without any roadmaps. maps.